In this video, I'm going to be showing how you can create a decal selection materials and how you can implement in your object as well. So as you can see, I have this option over here. If I click on top of it, it's going to be showing this material. So that's basically what I'm going to be showing in this video. In order to show you how you can create this selection decals, I have this top-down template just so that I'm able to click, click around just like that. And now I'm going to be creating an object and I'm going to be creating the material as well. So for that, let's just go to our content drawer. Over here, right click, create a blueprint class and then select a actor. This is going to be our BP underscore object. Open this up. Over here, I need a static mesh. And for our static mesh, I think I'm going to be using this cylinder over here. So I'm going to just be right clicky, browse to assets, selecting this and placing over there as the static mesh, just like that. Uh, and now I'm going to be also awesome select another component that's going to be our decal. So just add and then select our decal, just like that. I'm going to be rotating this uh, by minus 90 degrees, like this. Yeah. That should be good. Uh, one thing, before I forget, our static mesh, I need to go over here and I'm going to search for receive. Receive decals and I'm going to be disabling this just like that. So that's not going to be receiving that decal. And just so that is a little bit easier to visualize, I'm going to be adding a plane as well. So just add another component that's going to be plane. Place it over here. And then drag it down here. Yeah, that should be good. Now I'm able to see that. I think the cylinder is just too big. So I'm going to be decreasing the size of it a bit, the scale. Let's try with 0.3 for the scale. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, uh, so that's good enough for me. Let me just test something. Yeah, that should be good. So now I need to create the decal for that. For this, I'm going to be creating a material so that I can be placing here on the decal material. So just go to content drawer and let's go back into comp and content and then right click, then select material just like that. This is going to be our M underscore decal selection. Open this up. Now I am going to first thing I'm going to get a constant and going to be a 3D vector and the 3D vector uh, the color is up to you what we want to be using for this I think I'm going to be using yellow but again it's up to you you can use any color that you want I think yellow should be looking good for me and then over here I'm going to right click and just search for another constant this time it's going to be a single one uh, this one's going to be for the radius I'm thinking about using 0.4 for the radius uh, and then I'm going to be get another one of that. That's going to be for density. The next one I'm going to be leaving at one. And I'm going to be getting a radio gradient is exponential, just like that. And then our radius over here, and then our density over here, just like that. I'm going to be doing the same thing down here once more. So just copy and paste it down there. Same value, same thing but I'm going to be just adding it over here. So just get there, get I add the value like that. And then over here, I'm going to be getting a sign. And then I'm going to be multiplying the current value with this. So just place this as the first one and then like that. Yeah, that should be good. And then place this as the emissive color like that. Uh, one thing very important is that we also need to make modifications to our material domain. So I'm going to be select the fair decal like that. And then I'm going to be select this as the nostal, like that. Apply, save it. Now if I go into our object and I place this material over there, if you select the material and place into our decal material, as you can see, this is what will be looking like. I think it's very good because there's going to be this uh, thing on the middle and then outside as well. I think that should be looking good. I'm going to just be placing the decal a little bit up there. So just get our decal a little bit up. 
something like that should be good should be good and uh, please remember that it the plane that's the one that's receiving the call so it should be good like that now compile this save it and also let's say something that is very common to happen is that if you don't select the material domain as the fair decal let's say if it is uh something let's just go back as it was before let's make this application so before it was surface and opaque let's say if you try to place it like that let's just apply save it and then go to our object if you try to place this material like that over here into our decal as you can see he's not receiving this decal that's because it's not on the right material domain so just make sure that we have selected the right one uh, so just here let's go back into our deferred decal translucent and that should be good apply save it and yeah that should be good now let's go into our world and i'm going to be placing that object and of course i'm going to be removing the plane so just remove the plane compile save it and yeah that should be good so as you can see this is the decal material for our selection and uh, it's pretty good of course it is a little bit smaller smaller than i was thinking it would be so let's just increase this a bit save it let's take a look again yeah that is a little bit better uh but one thing is that you are not able let's say when you click on it it's not going to be displaying it i'm going to be sure how we can make that so by default, I'm going to be limiting the call visibility into false. And then here on the event grab, I'm going to get actor click it, event actor on click it. And then from this, I'm going to get the call and I'm going to set visibility and then set it to true. Just like that. Compile it, save it. Now, if I go into our word, I am not going to be displaying that decal, but if I click on top of it, he's going to be showing the decal that you have just selected. So it's going to be showing that it was selected. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll in this course to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.